Hey guys, how you doing? Long time no see. What is up people of the internet? My name is Spock to the Plug and welcome back to the channel. So, what is going on here? What, 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 what is what is this? What is happening here? Your boy is showing his face. What? That doesn't happen. This only happened in like two, three other videos, something like that. I don't do this, so it's a special occasion. Well, first and foremost, I miss you guys. Where have I been? I made a video about depression and then stopped uploading. Probably looked really, really suspicious, but I'm back. I'm fine, kinda. Um, I've actually been, you know, just doing some things in the background. I've been working like crazy, um, but I really do miss you guys. I haven't stopped working on videos. They just haven't come out yet. Um, but this one in particular is very special. If you couldn't tell by the title, I, was, I don't know what I'm going to call this video, but I'm sure I'll be very cryptic. It's, uh, we're here to talk about Grand Theft Auto. Not just about Grand Theft Auto, but about the upcoming Grand Theft Auto game. Now, I do gotta say, it is very, very funny to me that this game is coming out in the way it's coming out. It feels like a fever dream, you know what I mean? We, of course, don't have any release dates or anything like that. Now, if you clicked on here for me to speak, this, this video isn't about leaks, okay? If you guys don't know, um, Grand Theft Auto... The next one, people have been calling Grand Theft Auto 6. I personally don't think it'll be called Grand Theft Auto 6, but the next installment in the Grand Theft Auto franchise is slated to come out very, very soon. It's on the horizon. We can practically look out and touch it, and grab it, and hopefully soon bring it into our home consoles and PC devices. But this video isn't about the leaks. You know, I've seen the leaks, you know, nothing too spoilery. Basic gameplay stuff will look pretty good from what I've seen if you haven't seen the leaks. Um, you can try to deviate away from them if you want to. They're out there somewhere. Take Two and Rockstar did their best to get rid of them, but um, you can probably find them out there. I won't be showing them here. I won't be talking about them really, um, except for one thing. But we'll get into that in a second. So if, if you guys been living under a rock recently, um, Rockstar Games recently, about a week or two ago, turned 25 years old. I think the company as a whole, and it's a pretty big deal, I mean, for a studio to have been around this long, delivering banger after banger after banger is kind of what they're known for, I mean, they're rock stars over there, and when they released a thank you, like, they released a message to the fans through their socials and their website and the Rockstar Newswire, talking about how thankful they were for the fans and how grateful they are to be doing this, and they ended the statement with saying that they were going to, we are going to get a first look trailer in the first week of December and I will I do believe this video is coming up on December 4th um, but they just recently came out and said hey remember how we said early December that trailer is gonna be dropping December 5th which is tomorrow on a Tuesday a lot of a lot, a lot of announcements drop on a Tuesday for like many other games that I follow too I don't know what so special about that day if anyone knows let me know in the comments just a random thought I had but this is really really cool I mean this is something that we've been waiting for for years I mean I do have to say that I wasn't really on that train as much as some other people were like there were some people literally you know cursing Rockstar out you know people going on stage at the game awards and 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 other things saying they want GTA 6 and all this and it's like come on man it's like you know you, you got you got to let them cook you know I mean uh, it, AAA titles take a, a laughably long time to make but you know sometimes they're worth it and Rockstar has proven that they're worth it this game this this game if I cannot this game came out like 10 years ago okay I was in middle school you know what I mean I'm an adult now that has this game. This is the PS4 version, but I've played this game across three generations of consoles. September of 2013, this game hit. And it was the biggest thing and still is the biggest thing around. Okay? Can't take that away from it. Rockstar absolutely knows what they're doing. Okay? Now, I know they get a lot of flack for milking GTA Online. Hell, I mean, even they said themselves they did not expect GTA Online to be as big as it was. And I kind of can't blame them from a business standpoint for milking it for as long as they possibly could. You know, I mean, there were jokes about how there would never be a GTA 6. GTA 6 just might be GTA 5 in a big update, you know what I mean? But I didn't believe that, you know, I mean, 
personally, all the money that they made from that game that can go into the next game, whether it be GTA or the next Bully or the next Midnight Club or wherever they work on, having a significantly bigger budget to make that game better, I'm all for it. You know what I mean? I'm not sitting around here only playing Rockstar games. I've beaten GTA 5 dozens of times over the course of its lifespan. I've played this gym here, this phenomenal phenomenal game that they released in 2018 Red Dead Redemption 2 so you know these games with how open they are and how good they are they keep me occupied I of course am on the train I'm excited to see it but not as much as the next person I don't think I'm still very very excited don't get me wrong I don't want to like play it off like I'm still very much excited like tomorrow cannot come quick enough but you know from people leaking the game to Basically, Rockstar can't even post anything without people saying GTA 6. But, I mean, that's to be expected. I mean, I mean, that's kind of the whole thing with this, the gaming community, really. It's, it's, I love how passionate gamers are about what they want and how they want it, when they want it. And they're very vocal about it. You know I mean? I'd rather have that than someone just be like, all right, yeah, man, you're cool. You make games. That's fine. You know what I mean? And we know Rockstar can do it. I mean, despite what's happened with the, uh, the definitive edition GTA, the Definitive Edition, the Trilogy, and the recent re-release of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, you know, they get a lot of flack. I, it's not entirely their decision, but I understand why it's directed towards them, because it's their games. But mm -hmm. their main titles... My phone just went off. Ooh. Gonna, mu gonna mute that. Yeah, but I'm, I'm really excited for it. So yeah, that's that announcement's going to be tomorrow which is insane so i'm not going to talk about the leaks but what i do know is that it was highly speculated for years that the game would return to vice city now this is really exciting for me personally because i am a huge fan of grand theft auto vice city when i first started playing video games really really young grand theft auto 3 and grand theft auto vice city were the two games that i played non-stop like i would play like over and over like in for my whole life like for, like when i was young and playing those games i didn't know what was going on i didn't understand any of the references any of the cheeky jokes wasn't able to appreciate it like that looking back on it now at this age it's like no one of these games are looked upon so fondly you know what i mean and i think i put gta vice city over gta 3 mainly just because of the overall aesthetic you know what i mean first of all our protagonist talked but everything from the setting to the gameplay to the narrative of 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 tommy becoming just just running by city miami it's it's it was really really fun and it moved away from the dark drabness of liberty city into a more vibrant vice city miami so to be going back there in this generation during this time it's insane to me, you know what I mean? And I honestly cannot wait. And I actually I actually wanted this to be like a prelude or like a prequel to a video I'm making tomorrow. Um, I'm saying tomorrow even though I'm recording this on a different day because I know this will release the day before the trailer. But I will actually be doing a reaction to that video. I kind of have to. Like, I don't do a lot of reactions on this channel. All of my reactions, I think, have been solely dedicated to like Mortal Kombat stuff. But... I will react to that trailer and I will talk about it and I'll give my thoughts on it and I'll make another video about it. But I'm excited. I'm very much excited to see what they're going to do. I do think it's funny and this just came to me. I do think it is really funny that the when they said early December, a lot of people were speculating that it was going to be the Game Awards. The Game Awards are happening December 7th, that Thursday, right? Now, a lot of people are speculating right now that the they did call it trailer one. Now, more trailers during the game's marketing up to the release is to be expected. We're going to see more of the game as time goes on. But the fact that they deliberately called it Trailer 1 has a lot of people thinking that we're going to get a fully-fledged trailer um, at the Game Awards, which I would love to see. I'm not against that idea. I know Geoff Keighley might be pushing for that idea. Who wouldn't want to have the Grand Theft Auto 6 big trailer at their show, which is like the biggest gaming event of the year of the game awards i can't see i can't wait to see the many um world premieres and things like that um hopefully rockstar drops something else or some little special thing maybe maybe keanu reeves is in the game like a cyberpunk you know i mean who knows at this point um they've had ample time to work on it still are working on it we don't know when it's going to be revealed 
Um, as the little things that I do know about the game from the stuff I've seen, a lot of that stuff is subject to change. We've seen it with other games. We've seen it with Spider-Man. We've seen it with God of War. We've seen it with Last of Us. Just because these things happen, you know, everything is subject to change from the littlest things to the biggest things to names, locations, whatever. So I take everything with a grain of salt and I mainly listen to the things that are shown for me from the actual source. I love watching speculating videos. I love keeping my mind occupied with the ideas and joining the conversation. But unless it comes straight from Rockstar, you know, leakers and, and data miners and all these things those are cool if I glance at it I might read it but it will go in my mind and out of it and I love to hear it straight from the horse's mouth which Rockstar did to us and we will finally get our first look at the trailer which is odd because I also read that apparently parts of the trailer leaked which Rockstar just can't catch a break this year man um but I, I didn't seek that out I was like I want to be surprised I want my reaction to be genuine it's out there. Don't go looking for it if you want to. Crack at it. I'm personally not going to do that. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I want to see so many things happen in this game. I just really want to revisit the Grand Theft Auto world and see the references and see the things they've changed and really the story, see how the online is going to differ. I've, I've heard, heard things that aren't really like leaks, but heard like just mechanically the things that they might be doing and it excites me it excites me and i think it excites rockstar and it's exciting the fans too i will say something that's a bit concerning to me are the departures of longtime rockstar veterans like dan hauser leslie benzies laszlo i mean these guys and you know a handful more uh, but these being like the top three i think um for one reason or another left the company and these three have been a pillar in the creation the writing the development of their past work and you know without them you know it leaves room for concern you know i mean i have full faith in the rockstar crew that they're gonna do right by the fans and most importantly themselves always elevating the next game they make but you know it's gonna be weird not hearing laszlo being a big part of the radio station and the game as a whole um dan with his writing and his he's so prolific and he's funny um leslie leslie's actually working on another game called everywhere i think that's the working title which i personally can't wait to see you know when develop developers have that rapport you kind of want to dig into their other work um but that'll have to be another video for another time this one's just about the excitement that i have and hopefully a lot of you guys have for the upcoming game so i'd love to know what you guys thinking about Grand Theft Auto 6, if we're calling it that, and let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I really did miss all of you guys. Thank you guys for coming back and watching me. I have been working on a lot of stuff in the background. It is in motion. It'll be put out. Hopefully another video or two will come out this month, and we can go into the new year strong and promise you guys more videos and maybe not deliver, but hey, you know, hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving or any other holiday that you celebrated while I was gone, and I'm going to go make those videos for you guys and let me know down in the comments below how excited you are for the Grand Theft Auto reveal and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Peace.